Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, I think this is the time that I wanna show you my junk journal. <laughs> Actually, I made this uh, last month and you will see that there's a brad there from Tim Holtz. I use number two and number 15 because it states that I started uh, making this uh, journal last February 15, though uh, I already finished this one for just about less than a week. But um, um, I, I haven't um, made things to show it to you yet because I did something inside. So you will see it later. And um, as you can see, the cover that I use is a, um, a journal cover from Tim Holtz as well. That I bought this one long time ago. Just um, first time, uh, the first thing that I redo this uh, YouTube channel. I already bought this one <clears throat> and I decided to use it now <laughs> because I said I bought this one I have to use this one so before uh, I started the my YouTube channel actually um, what encouraged me is uh, doing some journals but I don't know why I, I, I wasn't able to do it because um, I still have a lot of things to learn and what to do it and instead I end up doing some um, albums um, so this time I'm glad that I was able to do it now and this is my first journal and it's a junk journal. Um, so the reason why um, I called it a junk journal because it is made out of things that you don't want to use it anymore and instead of throwing some of it you use it as your insert and as you can see I have three inserts here. And the brads that I use is connected with this middle insert. And the first and the third one is combined with um, some washi and some um, ribbons. So you can see it in well, I open, when I open it up. Um, in the first page, you can see there's a calendar. I also want uh, to have a calendar because it's very useful to have a calendar. And the next page, you can see some words in there. I really like uh, to put some words because... I, Everything I do, I always put some words because it's very, um, for me, it's uh, uplifting and it's encouraging to see some words in. And just be encouraged while you are um, flipping through your journals or your album and there's some words you can read. So that's me. Anyway, uh, I put some words from Tim Holtz Chipboards and it says, Find Joy in the Ordinary, See Possibility Everywhere. And adventure awaits and it is a reminder for me that whatever that is um, for me that is um, makes me happy or all the, uh, the adventures or the possibilities that I want to store and just make it um, a memory then I have to put in here so I just put some stickers also there to make it more lively so that's one of the things you see in there and on the back of this one is just plain so that's why I put uh, a sticker here because I don't want to be uh, really bare in it but I know I can put something in here in the future I still don't know what but this is one of the drawings of Anne and so that's why I have to rethink of the things that I need to put that exactly I would not really covered everything so I could still uh, have a memories of one of her drawings and of course, this is scratch paper because it's one of the schedules from her school. And then this one is her drawings as well. As, uh, there's so many trees in there. And I just put some stamps in here. I just uh, do something in it. <laughs> and this, some washi. And I don't know if you uh, experience it like what I experience that every time I do some project, there's something, there's sometimes that you don't like the washi that you use and you just want to get it and replace it so instead of throwing it I just put some washi in here and then I put some other pictures from magazines that I really like like I like this uh, um, view because I feel like it's peaceful uh, seeing this kind of pictures like not in the city or something <laughs> but anyway um, I, this is one of Anne's drawing as well and I put some um, things that I really like, the shellfish and sausage chowder. So it's I, I just want to be reminded that one of these food 
is yummy. I really like it. <laughs> and some of the notes, um, in case that I would put something in here, then I can just put some words also here. And this one, this is the one of the things that I put in here. <clears throat> this is one of the events that we had um, before the year end of 2017. It's the December 31st night before going to the 2018 we went to this place the global winter wonderland and i want to store in here so that i would be reminded that we spend that night um here so i describe um the things that i've been we're, we're doing there and uh things that describe this place and this is the brochure so i just put the brochure here to remind us that we experienced to go there during the, this day so we love it because it it's it's a, a family event and it's um it's very fun it's it's a fun event and so it's an adventure so that's why i said i put it, it was a good day because let new adventure begin so <laughs> that's the first adventure we had before the new year of 2018 so that's why I just put in there and some of the notes and some of the junk papers and I just put some uh, magazines and this is Elvis I just put some put it there so to look it more vintage <laughs> and the drawings of Anna as you can see it still stick so during this time I think she's still um, four years old at this time or five during the time she drew that one and I just put some drawings as well um, um, tried my some of the stencils so instead of using some scratch I just use it anywhere here <laughs> and this is one of the things also that Anne is making so she loves to draw or use some watercolors so this is one of those things that she do and I don't know but I don't know what to put in here because I don't want to cover it. it's very pretty and beautiful so she loves to make a cards and usually always have that words I love you. She's so sweet. And so this is one of the uh, uh, things that I got also from from Reader's Digest because we have so many Reader's Digest. So I just get some um, some pictures in there that would make me uh, that is useful because this is a reminder of the things that benefits that you can get from all these things so again this is the picture of Anne <laughs> I mean the drawing of Anne and another thing that I did is this one um, I'm sure pretty sure the owner would recognize this one but this is I put it first here because it's the first packet letter that I received and this is from Heaven Ray uh, from my dear friend Denise and I decided to put the things that she gave me in the packet letters because I want to preserve it and to remember during this time these other things that she gave me so I don't want to lose it so that's why I put it there so most of the things or everything that you see in here like this one and this one even the clip uh, paper clip I think a marker and then these things this one and even the bling here and these chipboards here and this except for the heart drawings because this is Anne's drawings so that's why in uh, I preserve the things that she gave me at the same time I preserve the drawing of Anne the heart and she also gave me this note and um, this die cut of a perfume and this two uh, words here quotations here and hearts and I put a note where I can put her notes and some of the things that she gave me. And I just described everything. I put here also the things that, um, the a reminder what I received from her. So this is one of the things that I do in this junk journal. And so again, uh, some of the pictures I get from the Reader's Digest and some notes. So if ever I do something in here, I have something to write. And some notes also here and just put some everything like tried my stencils the music st uh, stamps there and this is one of the drawings of Anne and it's the other side of the magazines that I put and then I, I I tried also one of the stamps here so I just 
every time I try something, I just <laughs> put here instead. So I put some flour in here from Reader's Digest. And this is the first insert and I just combine it with ribbons and with a with with a um, paper bag here so I can put something in here so anything what's in my mind <laughs> so these are some of the junk papers as you see in the scratch paper that's where Anne is uh, using for her drawings and some pamphlets or brochures that I received from the mail so like the <laughs> the Victoria's Secret and I just put some um, envelope here so I can just put something in there so that's basically what I did for my insert and some of the brochures and drawings of my son and this time I also put um, this is the third so I put third because it's the third packet letter that I received and this is from fun paper art and you can see these are the things that she gave me except for the envelope I just put some envelope a uh, small envelope for her to put some of the things that she gave me like the tag and this uh, piece of cute little girl here and you can see a little girl also here i'm so sorry i'm not really good in um in coloring <laughs> and is the one who's doing this and she's using the color pencil and i'm using the marker so that's why it's um darker this time and this one is lighter and so we put something in there and this is the tag that she gave me which is so pretty so it's really uh um, um, memories that I have to treasure that I have to put in here so that I would be reminded that these are the things I got from her and the tree here is Anne's work so it's a pres it was preserved as well uh, along with the things that she gave me so this is the things that she gave me the heart arrow and this one this one and this the hearts and the stickers here and this kind of clip this is her letter and these are the things that she gave me even the the let the the words in here is amor and the love um heart that has um embossed love word in there which is so pretty and the butterfly so that's basically what i got from her and i just record the things that um that is not in here because you cannot paste everything in here so i just um put everything that I received from here here so a definition of everything so I designed it this way I still don't know what to put in there and another packet letter I received this is the second packet letter I received and this is a valentine theme the same thing with this one this is also a valentine theme so this is from Dollar Queen Lee and <laughs> again I preserved the things that she gave some of the things that she gave me like the very cute envelope there and this one um, the jar the small jar there and this one and the heart and again this uh, tree is uh, Anne's work and some stickers scented stickers there I just put and I put some notes here what are the things that I received from her because I received some bigger uh, bigger things that I can put in here so that's why I just wrote the things that I just um receive from her so whatever that i can just put in here that i put it there so to remind me that she is my second this is my second packet letter and i want to preserve i want to remember it so this is my sans work sans drawing and some other pages here so you can see there are some other pages and even the brochure of city bank i use it here some notes in here so these are the things uh, some packets so I can just put anything in there and this is basically and the last one I want to show you is the events um, I think this is March um, there's a day to March 6th to remind me that during the day we, we watch a movie the movie is uh, um, called Wonder because um, the the mall the new mall the open in our place they just opened the the cinema there and they have a promotion that there are only three dollars for for the movie it's not very new movie but it's a fun for the family to go together and just watch the movie and so this is the event that i put here so it will be a remembrance a memory that we uh have uh watch a movie during this time this is the movie that we we've seen 
So that's one thing, one of the things I put in this journal. So basically that's it. So you can see this is a junk journal but I put some of the things that I want to uh, preserve and remember. So that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy guys and uh, thank you for being with uh, being with me today and hope to see you next time and please like comment and subscribe and uh, just let me know your uh, thoughts and some suggestions if you want to suggest anything about my journal if i want to, if i need to improve more or whatever or whatever that you want to say i would really appreciate to hear from you guys and thank you so much again for watching hope you have a great day and um See you again. Bye.